Hi, so yesterday I posted in the Element uh, support group asking anyone if they need any help with anything just to let me know and I'll create a video. Um, before I start getting into the video, sorry for the background noise, it's my heater and it's absolutely freezing here and it's rather early so it's even colder. Um, so yeah, let's get on. So the question was, hi Marty, I'm struggling big time at making a subscription page or pop-up using Elementor and MailChimp. A video on this would be amazing. I've watched a few, but they haven't helped much. I am not a techie person by any stretch. So this video we're going to be covering um, installing two plugins, which is the MailChimp plugin um, or a MailChimp plugin and, the, and a really, really, really good plugin called Popbox for Elementor. Okay, so... Let's begin. So the first thing we want to do, we want to head over to this website, Popbox for Elementor. Um, I'll leave a link in the description and click download. Okay. Once that's downloading or downloaded, we go ahead and install it. Okay. <clears throat> and then we activate the plugin. Okay, the next step is to do add-on and we are going to type in MailChimp. So, and we're going to install this one here, MailChimp for WordPress. Install now. Okay, and now activate. Okay, so once you've done that, the first thing we're going to do, we want to actually connect um, connect the API. Now, mine's already there previously, but what I'm going to do, um, usually this will be blank on the status say not connected or something on those lines. What you want to do, you want to click on get, up, get your API key here, which will take you to, in my case, the demo account I've got. You'll take the API, you'll press connect, and you'll paste it in here like so, and you'll take changes. and that should be done okay so um now you want to go over and create a form um, let's just delete this this is how it should look for you at the very beginning and um, all to do all you do to create fields is just do click on the buttons here copy this into placeholder at the form same here cool. and add the form okay now let's preview this form, which is here, and you can see you've got a nice looking form there, okay? So now what we're going to do, we're going to save that, and we're going to take the short code found on the bottom of the page, copy that, and now head over to pop boxes. We're going to add a new pop box, so I'm going to call this, I don't know, home page, um, and we're going to publish. We're going to head over to Edit with Elementor. Okay, and what I'm going to do, because I've not, this is just a random um, domain that I've set up just for this. Um, we're going to add a new section, we're going to add a container, and in the container, um, we're going to put in a short code like so and we're going to paste that short code in and now you've got the form there okay i'm gonna i'm going to put some padding into this just let's just say 20 uh, pixels and i'm going to save like so okay now that's done we're gonna go back over to the dashboard and we're going to head over to pages or posts or whatever you want to put in this case it's going to be pages we're going to edit whichever page you've already got set up Okay, and now, again, this is just random stuff I've quickly put in, and we're going to, in the Elementor search bar, type in pop box and you can see it here. So, I'm going to make it extra large, just why not? I'm, I'm a rebel. And then you can see in model content, um, it's automatically selected it, <clears throat> however, um, if you had multiple ones, you would have to change this to whatever it is. Now we press save. 
view this page click me and there you go you've got your MailChimp form integrated in a pop-up on Elementor and if you head over to this you can um, change the color and it is basically do what you usually do whilst creating a page just for the form so if we change that to black save it refresh click me and can you see it's now like so and that is how to integrate MailChimp and Elementor in a pop-up.